friends. I'm excited to do a hair. Hi. Oh, Lukey's saying hi. I'm excited to do a little hair tutorial for you all today. Um, I haven't done like a hair tutorial <laughs> in quite some time. So I styled my hair like this the other day and I actually didn't end up coming into stories. So it was such a wasted hair opportunity because nobody saw my hair. I did take a picture of it though. Um, so, you know, when you finally get ready and then you don't show up on social media, it feels like such a waste. But I did feel very put together for the day. So I'm gonna come on here and show you guys how I styled it because it actually was really fun. And we've got Lucas back here. So hopefully I like gave him a pep talk. I gave him all the snacks. Side note, who here shops at Costco? Hi, Monique. Who shops at Costco? My sister-in-law, she randomly was like, hold on, before we went to her church's conference on Saturday, she's like, hold on, I have a new find for you. She's always finding the most amazing things from Costco. But she gave this to me. And I immediately had to go to Costco the next day. They are so good. So if you shop at Costco, get yourself some of these. There's peach, strawberry lemonade, and watermelon, which usually I'm not a watermelon fan, but they're all three of them are delicious. They're so good. And I don't know, it's zero grams of sugar, electrolytes, vitamins. They're delicious. So that was a little side tangent, but Okay, I'm actually using three different tools today. I have them all in front of me. So, shout, ooh, pulled my shirt down a little too low. Um, <laughs> hi, Cassandra. What do you do in between washes to keep your hair fresh? Ooh, that is a really good one. Probably because a lot of people wanna know. <laughs> so, the things that I do in between. We'll kinda be walking through that today, actually. But, biggest thing is dry shampoo oil on the ends and training your hair. You have to train your hair to go longer in between washes. I wash my hair about every <laughs> every seven to ten days. So hi Kelly! I miss you too. We need to like we need to catch up and do all the things. Um so I wear a shower cap. I kind of shared about this in my stories the other day, actually. And if you go to my highlight bubbles, I have a whole updated um, hair growth, hair loss journey thing saved in my highlight bubbles. So I share some stuff over there. I shower every day, so have no fear there. I do shower every day, but I do not wash my hair every day. And I have basically trained my hair over the years to be able to go, hey, turn that down. Okay. Turn it. No, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> um, and so I've been able to go. Hey, that is still too loud. Turn it down, please. How about you give Mama the remote or set it over here? Luke. 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 Hey. Thank you. My goodness. Um, sorry guys. This is my older two are at school and my younger two are here. Stop. Okay. I'm sorry, this is probably so annoying, but those of you who are moms, you understand, right? Um, so I use a dry shampoo. I kind of switch between a couple different ones. Um, this is one of my all-time favorites. This is from IGK. This is their first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. This stuff gives crazy amazing volume um and it also just takes those oils away um and then i use an oil from pomifera on my ends to keep those from looking haggard and dry um and then i honestly don't style my hair every day <laughs> so um i will put my hair up like as high as it can go at night like this and it just kind of like sits really loose on top of my head. This stuff doesn't fit in there, which is fine. Um, but this kind of keeps what was styled somewhat intact. I sleep really crazy. And so this just helps kind of keep this at bay. And then when I wake up the next day, usually it's 
good enough in my eyes where I'm like, yeah, I could rock just kind of like a messy hairstyle for that day. So that's, that's, um, that's like a long winded version of what I do. <laughs> so, all right. So here's the tools I'm going to be using. So when Ray, he's the guy who cut my hair this last time. So some of the content you've seen, Ray is the one who cut my hair. He did a version of this on my hair and it was so cool, but he actually used a flat iron to give my hair this waved look. And I was like, I don't have time to do that. So this is my solution, <laughs> is this waiver. Um, I think I got this one a couple years ago, back when I shopped at Target, or I have it linked in my Amazon store. So just know that. Um, and then I'm gonna be using a one inch Connor curling iron. This bad boy was like $12.99 and it has stood the test of time. So just know, I love that you can adjust the temperatures here. I keep mine at like 17, 19 for temperature because I want my curls to be a little bit on the looser side. Um, and then you guys, I'm using the volume. For those of you who do love big hair, this is gonna be your best friend. And there is a secret sale starting tomorrow on this volume. So if you've had your eye on it and you've been waiting for it to go on sale, there's a secret sale happening tomorrow. I just haven't gotten my code for it yet. So once I do, that'll all be in stories. Yay, you love the volume, so excited. I love the volume. Now that my hair is a lot shorter, I've been having to be creative with um, where I place the volume, especially since I've also uh, lost quite a bit of hair. Um, I'm just having to figure out how to style it differently given all those factors. So just trial and error. Um, Allie, you finally got your volume and couldn't be more obsessed. <laughs> Isn't it so good? If you style it the right way, it seriously is the best tool in the entire world. Um, as you guys may have seen on my content, I've gotten it a little big a couple times, but it's fine. It happens. It's hair. You can wash it. No big deal. Okay, so I sectioned my hair off. I'm not really going to focus on, like, all this down here. Um, so we're just going to start kind of, like, right at, like, my temple for my first section. No shipping to Europe. I could have swore Volume was actually... Oh, my gosh. Did I not turn this on? It has not get, been turned get on. Watermelon. Get okay. watermelon. Okay, thank you. Go sit down. I didn't have this turned on the entire time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Rookie Miss. Hey, can you stop doing that, please? <laughs> it's so funny. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Toddlers are fun. No shipping in Belgium either. I could have swore that volume was pretty much everywhere. So I'm going to have to check in on that. If we're, I, cause I definitely could have swore volume was in Europe. So that one surprises me, but I mean, I believe you guys, but I'll check on it and see what, <laughs> what is kind of happening there. Um, Amber, I almost missed your comment. What shampoo conditioner do you use? So I go, I like rotate, rotate between three or four different shampoos because it's not good to use the same shampoo every time you do your hair. Otherwise your hair gets used to basically what that shampoo is doing and it stops working. <laughs> so I, Lucas, please. <sighs> Sorry guys. So I kind of rotate um, to kind of keep, keep it fresh. So two of my shampoos are from Kevin Murphy. One is a plumping wash for thinning hair. So since I've been losing a lot of hair, I use that one. And then I rotate between that one and then I'll do, um, it's like a, kind of their like deep hydration wash. Um, I forget the name of it. Maybe I can throw these in stories when I don't have a child being extremely distracting <laughs> behind me. Hey, come here, come here, Yeah. Come here. Come here. I want you to come sit right here. For what? Right here. For what? So I can talk to you. <laughs> You're gonna have to see Kimber like extreme parenting really fast. Hey, can you come sit right here? Can you get out of the window? Get out of the window. Come sit right here. Look at me. Okay. Hey buddy. 
Did we not have a little pep talk right before this call? What did mommy tell you to do? Did I tell you to be a good boy? Uh -huh. Are you being a good boy? No. So we're going to try again. Otherwise, you're going to lose privileges this afternoon, okay? All right. Okay. <laughs> we're going to try this one more time. Ah, mom life. I love when Nate's at the firehouse and I try to do stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and then I also use a Redken shampoo. And you know what? I'm going to take a picture of these because I honestly don't remember the names of them all. But um, I'm going to take a picture of them and I'm going to throw them in my stories so you guys can see what shampoos I use. My favorite brands, though, are Kevin Murphy. Um, a few of A few of Redken things. <laughs> What are these balloons? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Did you guys see the balloons on your end? Um, Aquage. Aquage is one of my all-time favorite shampoo brands, hairstyling brands. It's so good. Um, and then, what's another one? I pretty much only use Kevin Murphy, Redken, IGK. Pomifera. Pomifera actually has really good volume shampoo. So anyways, okay, I think my stuff is heated up enough. I've waited you guys. I made you guys wait just enough, long enough. Okay, we're going to get to it. Thank you guys for being patient as I parent on the side. This is how I get my hair done though. So I know a lot of you guys can relate. So I'm just going to put my first section in here and I'm not even going to worry about this, the ends on here. We're just going to leave that out. So as I was saying, my hairstylist, he used a, um, a flat iron to do this. Stop. He used a flat iron to do this. That is too difficult even for me, someone who uh, also is a hairstylist. <laughs> That's just way too time consuming for me. So this is my solution um, to get kind of the same effect is I'm using this waiver. What brand tool? This is Bedhead, Ashley. Right? Yes. Bedhead. So this is linked in my Amazon store. Um, if you guys want to get it from there. I, I don't think it was more than 20 bucks. I feel like it was right in that 20 $30 range. So, not terrible. Um, so I initially wave it. You're welcome. So I initially give it a wave, and we're actually gonna do one more section with the wave, and then I'm gonna show you how I use a different tool for this top section here. And what this wave is kind of doing is it's giving my hair body. So because I have lost quite a bit of hair, luckily it's it's starting to grow back in. This is exciting news. See, it's all it's all growing back in now, which is awesome. Um, but I have lost quite a bit of hair. And so this gives like the bottom of my hair more body so that it doesn't sit so flat. I'm actually going to do one more section on that one. And then also notice I am not crimping with this way up. I'm not doing it this way. I actually flip it on its bottom. And so my thumb, the clamp is where my thumb is on the bottom because when you look up here, it gives the curl goes out right here at the root. It causes my curl, that first curl to go up and out, which is also helps with volume at the root. If I were to do the curl this way, that curl at the very top would go under and that would defeat the purpose of getting like big hair right here because that curl would go actually in so by flipping it around like that so that it's upside down you get that lift right at the root so that's why I do that and then we just kind of go all the way around my head like so I don't worry about the back too much because I can't see it <laughs> so like if I can't see it then we're just not even gonna worry about it um, I will say the when I did this a couple days ago, um, the waves did not last overnight, so which is why I'm now refreshing it. I didn't do much with my hair um, yesterday, and so uh, it was basically like in a top knot all day. 
And so now we're kind of refreshing that. So we're gonna do the ends. Okay, and this honestly, this hairstyle would actually probably be really cute like all over, but we're gonna do this just on the bottom. So I'm actually gonna turn this off. Uh oh, did you get hurt? Uh-huh, my cheek hurts. Your cheek hurts. Did you do something to it? Did you land on it? Well, you gotta be careful. That's what happens when you rough house. You can sit right there, okay? I'm gonna do that one now. I am gonna do this one. Okay, so now that I've turned that one off, I'm gonna turn my volume on so that while I'm curling the top, this is warming up. So I know it seems a little ridiculous to have three different tools, but you'll see how they all kind of have a purpose. <laughs> There's a reason why. I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this section out, and now we're gonna move into um, curling this, okay? So clip this out of the way, and now I'm gonna move over into the one inch, and like I said, I have this at like 19 for heat. I don't want it like totally full blast heat, um, so I want these curls to be somewhat looser. So this first section, I'm gonna start at the top and kind of walk the curling iron down, but we're leaving the ends out. We're gonna curl that. Don't touch the curl though. Let the curl completely cool down. And then I'm alternating these curl patterns. So I'm going away from my face, toward my face, away from my face, and just kind of keep alternating that. Can you not turn that off, please? Thank you. Okay. And now it's just finding the pieces of hair that are flat <laughs> and curling those. You can like clip away this hair if it helps you. I used to do that all the time where I would clip away the bottom hair that was already done so that I could see what still needed to be curled. And that just kind of ensured that that just kind of ensured that I was getting all the hairs curled. But now that it's shorter, I don't really take the time to do that. Okay. Same thing on this side. We're just going to curl away from the face and then just continue to alternate those curls. Do you guys have any questions? <laughs> any questions at all while we're going through this? And then make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna be showing you guys the products that I use. Um, I, know I gotta get him out of the frame. I had this whole pep talk with Luke before we started. I was like, mommy is going to be giving a tutorial, which means you have to be on your best behavior. Was he on his best behavior? No, <laughs> but it's okay. It's all part of it. Great. Okay, so we're not gonna touch these curls. I know it's gonna be hard to do, but we're, we're not gonna touch these curls because we want them to basically cool down so that they set. If you want like a super, super loose curl, then as soon as you take that piece of hair out of the barrel, you'll basically like, like bring, like comb your hair. I'm like, what am I trying to say? You'll comb your fingers through your hair to loosen them, but I want them somewhat still curly. Um, are you using heat protection? Yes, I did. When I showered, what was that? or when I washed my hair two days ago, I should say, I used this Kevin Murphy foam um, that I use for a heat protectant. And then I also have an oil in my hair from Pomifera that is also a heat protectant that I like to put on my ends. I didn't show how I did that in this live though, um, but that's a good idea to actually do for another live. Okay. Your son's name is Luke. Oh, that's so cool. It's a good name. Fun fact about all my kids' names. 
except for Emmy, and maybe this is because we were not planning on Emmy. <laughs> Emmy was a beautiful blessing from Jesus that we were not anticipating. Um, but, so my first, he was named, so back when he was born, I was like super into the movie A Walk to Remember with Mandy Moore in it. Do you guys remember that movie? Pretty much any Nicholas Sparks movie, I love. And so I was super into that movie, and so we named him after the main character. <laughs> and then when my second came along, I was like super into all the Miss Congeniality movies. <laughs> and so she, I was pregnant with her, and so that's how her name came about, was from Miss Congeniality. And then um, when I was pregnant with this one, who you guys keep seeing behind me, um, I was binge watching One Tree Hill. And what's one of the main characters' names? Lucas. <laughs> so that's what we named Lucas. So basically they're named after TV shows that I apparently was heavily watching while I was pregnant. So <laughs> there's really no... No other significance behind their names besides that. <laughs> One of your favorite movies. That's awesome. Okay, so question came in. Do you use heat protectant only first hair day or reapply each day? We have a Luke too, but he's 21. Oh my gosh, the day Lucas is 21, I tell you what. Oh, he's, he's our energetic little one. <laughs> Um, so I use a foam heat protect. I'm letting my curls cool down, by the way. So we're, we're going to look a little crazy for a second while these kind of cool down. Um, I use a heat protectant the first day when I first wash my hair. It's a foam that you put in while your hair is wet. Then, um, on the days that I'm styling my hair, I put a hair oil in on just the end. So like from like mids down. Um, don't put your dry shampoo on until after you're done with your heat, with your hot tools. Okay. Otherwise the dry shampoo, I feel like when you put heat on top of dry shampoo, it's just a bad combo for keeping your hair healthy at least. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the volume real fast, which awesome. Lucas turned off. So... <laughs> We're gonna heat this bad boy up. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Okay, so while that's heating up, what's another question? Ashley, he is 10. He'll be 11 in September. So, <laughs> so sad. So sad. They grow up so fast, you know? I've been feeling it hard lately too. Especially with my oldest, I'm like, you literally look like a teenager out of nowhere. This morning, I was getting him ready for school, and I just hear this, like, ah, from the other room, and I come in the bathroom, like, what's going on? He's like, my hair, and I was like, what's wrong, buddy? He has two calyx here and here, and so his hair, like, does this. It just, like, grows this way, and he likes to wear it off to the side, like how his dad wears it, and, um... He was so frustrated because it's so long, like it it's not doing anything right now. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we're at the age where they start to care <laughs> what their hair looks like. I miss the days where it was like, get dressed, get breakfast, and let's leave. And now, now he like actually cares what his hair looks like. So, oh, your daughter graduates this year. I am going to be a mess when that happens, can I just say? So I feel you. I'm already a mess just looking at them. I'm like, they're growing up so fast. Okay, hello! You keep forgetting their time zone is behind mine. Oh shoot! Yes, and I, I always feel bad. I give like no warning to you guys that I'm going live, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so volume. When I look at my hair, I honestly feel like it's got a decent amount of volume. So see by putting the crimper down here, it's giving like awesome volume and body throughout this section of my hair, right? So I don't need to add a ton of the volume. 
but I will say I want this to come up a little bit right here and maybe just a little bit on this side, but we don't need, we don't need a ton. So I'm gonna start out actually at my template. We're gonna pop this over to the side. I'm gonna grab my balloon. I have my temperature at 300. Um, and we're just gonna do this really quickly at the root. Nothing too crazy. Okay, see how it just adds a little bit of juju up there. And then I'm gonna do maybe one more layer. And I clamp it pretty fast. I feel like this is what helps the crimp not look so obvious at my root. And I will say you guys, there is a difference between this and a crimper. A lot of people, when I show the volume in comments, they're like, or you could just get a crimper. I'm like you could, but it gives a totally different um, finish look to it. Like you really see each little crimp line if you use a crimper. What's really cool about the volume is it's got this checkerboard pattern, which they actually just came out with the 2.0, which is what I have here. So um, the plates are just slightly different now to where it really hides the crimp even more, I feel like. Um, and so to me, if you don't want an obvious crimp look, get the volume. You're still gonna see a crimped look, but I think it looks more like like I teased it versus a legit crimped pattern. Does that make sense? Um, and so just know that. I should probably do like a video on this soon because I, I bought a teeny tiny crimper thinking I could get the same effect and it totally was not the same effect. Um, Alicia, so I actually have a video. I have a reel on my haircut. And my hairstylist actually is the voiceover on it and he walks through how he cut my hair. But basically, it's a modern bob. And so it's angled, but not like in the traditional old school way that we used to um, angle bobs. So there's, there's some layer in it, but also not really. Uh, so I would go to that video because he does a... He does a great job at explaining how how my hair is cut. Um, but the front, the front is where it does, shoot, did I already do that part? No. The front is where it does get longer like a traditional bob does. And you can kind of see it's not like a disconnected piece. If I were to look down, it's it like goes at an angle all the way down. But when my hair is straight up, it this piece is still kind of a little bit longer, but it's mostly, it looks straight across. I have a crazy, crazy neckline. And so my hair back here, it grows up. <laughs> so it's really fun when you're trying to get a hairstyle to like, bevel under so he had to do quite a bit of work on my neckline um so if you don't have that issue then this would be a really good haircut um but there is a reel on my page where he walks through how he how he cut my hair and we actually videoed a lot of it i just haven't put the content together yet um on how that's done okay so i think that's as much as I'm going to volume it for now. I don't think I really need much more than that because it's just, we're just adding just a little bit of volume up here, right? We want it, we want it to look full and all the things. My hair is so staticky lately. It's driving me nuts. I think it's because, I think it's because our house is so dry. <laughs> and cold like Colorado is so dry um even I got my nails done yesterday which you guys by the way go get this color done on your nails it's funny bunny and bubble bath by OPI and it is like the prettiest color ever um but the nail lady was like your hands are so dry I'm like I know I know I feel my pain that's why I'm here <laughs> oh that's so fun 
I love that you're also a cosmetologist. I feel like I knew that. I feel like I knew that. Um, okay, so volumes are regularly, actually, they are regularly 134-ish, I think. But like I said, at the beginning, there is a secret volume sale that starts tomorrow. So I haven't gotten my code for it yet, but the sale runs tomorrow through the 14th. Um, and you'll get it for $99, which is a steal of a deal because they only do that sale at Black Friday. So I, I'm like, wait, what? We're doing we're doing this. So they only ever have done that sale at Black Friday. But that one will start tomorrow. So $99 um, with my code. You have to be able to use the code, my code, to get the discount. So anyways, okay. Dry shampoo is next. Now that I'm done with the volume, I'm going to spray this through my part line. This is also gonna help with the oil production and also give my hair some grip at the root so that I can play around with it and it doesn't go flat on me. So I do this all around my roots. Okay, let that kind of set. <laughs> Let it set so that it can dry a little bit. Okay, this is where you can kind of go through and start to style it. If I want like a deep part, I've been liking the deep part lately, which I know all of these Gen Zers are like, ew, gross to side parts, middle parts, what's in. Sometimes I feel like that, most days I don't. I, I'm a millennial at heart and I will forever love my side part, I think. <laughs> so then I'm gonna go through with, um, this is from Kevin Murphy, it's the bedroom hair. It looks like this. It's a flexible textured spray. Um, and I'm just gonna go through the ends with that. And this obviously does what it says. Like, look at all that texture it just gave it. And this is, I, I love a messy look, guys. I don't like things like perfectly in place. And so I'm all about the texture spray just to give my hair some movement to it. I need to put my earrings on for today. And I also need to use my little gel. See all my, my hair that's growing back in? It drives me nuts. I'm thankful it's growing back in, but the the fluff up here drives me nuts. So I use this little like, it looks like mascara, but it's gel and it's awesome. I'll put that in my stories today too. Um, but then I'm just gonna finish it off with some hairspray. Could even probably flatten those with the hairspray. And that is about it. I just like to spray that little side part in the front call it good this we're having a bad hair day right here with this section it's kind of dry, driving me nuts so we're just gonna we're just gonna tuck that for now <laughs> okay guys I've learned the best techniques from you on hair oh thank you Allie I hope you guys learned something I try to I try to not like talk about the same thing every time I come in and do lives and stuff so I'm glad to hear you're learning things Yes, okay. I'm assuming you asked the texture spray before that, before I showed you, but this is the texture spray. If you didn't catch that, go ahead and screenshot that too if you guys want, but this is what it looks like. Um, are you loving your hair short versus long? I'm wanting to chop mine. I, Lena, absolutely love my short hair. This is driving me nuts. I think I went over too far. <laughs> the, the deep part got a little too deep on me. The deep part is deepened, so we gotta take that back a little bit. Um, I love it short. This, I've had, I had my hair short like this for years and years and years. Um, and so for me, it's, this is normal to have it short. It's such a fun haircut, and it makes me feel like I have a style. I felt like with long hair, I just, it just felt frumpy all the time to me. I just felt like I didn't, I didn't have a style. Um, so I personally love short hair. Just chop it, you know, YOLO. 
<laughs> chop it and it it will it grows back it'll always grow back um so i i've loved having the short hair um having to relearn how to style it has been interesting because it had been like a year since i had hair this short so it's been interesting like trying to learn how to style it again but it's been so fun so i say just chop it <laughs> okay Big hair don't care. That's right, Lindsay. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. Uh, I have biracial hair. Ooh. Okay, you wanna try what? I might have missed that. Um, bedroom hair is your favorite. It's so good. It's the best. All of Kevin Murphy products are amazing. Um, I recently did a big chop and feel the same way. I felt frumpy, long, and I'm loving the texture and movement I get from my hair. Yeah, there's just there's just something about it. It just it's it's just fun having short hair. Oh, we'll try the products. Yes, try them and and see what you think. Is your hair like super curly, or is it kind of in between? What type of hair texture do you have? Do you know by chance? Can wait a second. Also, I probably need to go check on Little Man because he was like in here, which is why my bed is just all torn apart, and now he's not. <laughs> so I'm like, what are you doing? Where are you? Um, okay, spiral curls. Okay, you would love Kevin Murphy's curling shampoo line. I use their shampoo line on my daughter, my youngest, because she has really curly hair. It is incredible. If I if I don't use the shampoo on her hair from the curling line, her hair is like wavy but not like you can tell she has curly hair but it's it's really flat in other spots and then I'll use that shampoo on her and her hair is like whoosh, curly. It's so so pretty. The roots are straight and then they spiral. Hmm. I feel like check out go on to kevinmurphy.com because that's that's kind of the bummer thing about kevin murphy products is you you have to like find a salon that carries their products or get them online but look them up online and look up all of their stuff they have in their curling line because i firsthand have seen there is a difference with curly hair that it might they might have some sort of like gel that you could use on the ends even i bet so okay guys Thanks for hanging out with me. If you are just hopping on, um, this will be a replay. So go back to the beginning and watch how I used three different tools to achieve this overall look. It's super fun. It's been one of my, one of my more favorite ways to style my hair lately. Um, and then say hi to me. If you're on the replay, come say hi. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Otherwise, killer curls. Thank you. Yes, that is exactly what it's called, Lindsay. Thank you. I'm like, what is that called? I kept wanting to say Diva Curl, um, but Diva Curl had like a bunch of lawsuits out for them a while ago, which I did not know. Um, so I haven't recommended them since hearing all of that. But Kevin Murphy's Killer Curls is incredible. In the smell, oh my gosh, best smell ever. Like it smells so, I want it as a perfume. So when my daughter gets out, I just like sit and I just smell her hair because it smells so good. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'll see you over in stories um, and all the things. So thanks for being on. Bye.